I feel like there are a lot of people that are sitting there going, why in the world would we pick a dyslexic guy to be president when you get mixed up about WPS and WP, which by the way, no matter what should be disabled. And if you had WEP enabled, you have, you have a scary thing going on with your router. So I was right, but I had never even heard of WPS and I looked it up. And then for some reason I was like, well, it's gotta be WP in my head. Cause I wasn't really, I, I was concerned with disabling it. And I knew I'd been hacked because I knew it. And so they're all going, how in the world can we trust you on technical stuff? And what I'll tell you is, okay, so who am I going to trust? Probably uh, Michael Hale Lai, because his name is first. Because he does forensics in a way that is way more complicated than the average person does forensics. Like, it's like, when, when we talk about what is real forensics, memory forensics is, is, is the, the realest forensics of all. But um, it's also the hardest forensics because it's, because everything's kind of different in memory. But all I'm saying is, as far as computers, why can you trust me? Because I don't trust myself. And it's hard to explain how you all want a president that trusts his opinion, his or her opinion. And in my opinion, it is not as simple to understand how a terrorist or a real national security threat can come from a country in Europe that's our friend. How, how is that possible? Well, according to everything I know from school, the, the, the threat's going to come from Saudi Arabia. It's going to come from Afghanistan. It's going to come from um, uh, Nigeria. It's going to come from uh, uh, an African country. Okay, you know that. Well, you know what I know? Don't know shit. But it does make sense that the, the most likely terrorist threats are going to come from Pakistan because we murdered so many people there. And understanding the history of murder helps you understand everything. So I do understand the whole situation, but what I also understand is that I don't understand. And so I don't know if you hacked my router, but I know you hacked my computer. And I can see evidence towards it because if there's anything that exists, it's that MAC address filtering problem where I'm like, dude, I can't, I can't filter MAC addresses. Why isn't it letting me add these things to, to my to my whitelist? And so a lot of people were like, okay, it makes sense you've been hacked. And so did I have to tell you the truth? No, especially if I'm running for president. The last thing you ever want to do is be someone that's wrong. But all I'm saying is the best thing about me that you guys will not understand is the last thing I am is stuck in my ways. And so when I think who is going to be my most influential advisor Perry Merling, who is an economist, Robert Schiller, who's an economist, maybe Bill Gates, who is basically an economist combined with a computer guy, um, maybe Warren Buffett, maybe um, Carl Icahn, maybe um, Michael Hale Lai, maybe some people in the military that are that good at military. And so when you, when you think about how much I know, that's the perfect amount for a president because the president shouldn't know. The president should try to figure out the answers and we live in a complicated world and everyone who's running for president right now is the last thing they could ever do is look at their router and realize that disabling universal plug and play is a good idea. And even disabling WPS is a good idea, even though, do I know anything about the protocol? Nothing. I know about WEP. I know about all kinds of, I know, dude, you don't know understand. Computers are full of like DES, that's bad. Um, AES, that's good. Um, like you have to understand computers are full of like, I don't understand crap. That that's basically what computers are because they're that freaking hard to, to, to understand. And until you understand that, you don't understand that like, just cause I, just cause, just cause I can't prove that they hacked my router doesn't mean that I didn't kick them out. And so just cause I, I can't prove that someone hacked my router doesn't mean I didn't give good, good security advice. And there's a reason people want to get rid of the passwords. It's because they're annoying. And all I'm saying is just cause I, I have had trouble with it doesn't mean I don't understand like the memory, the physical elements of Microsoft's code and, and how they're putting memory that make it so 
difficult to hack Microsoft. And and so these are super, which do I fully understand that? No one does. Everyone's like, it works. I, I'm, I'm confused, but it, but it, it's hard to break. Um, and, and that's why it's a secret because they don't want to have anybody figure out anything about how to break it. Cause is anything, is anything completely unbreakable? Probably not. All I'm saying is when you have, when you're electing a president and you want someone who's never changed their opinion, that is set in their ways, that knows everything, that's never going to make a dyslexic type mistake. That's fine. You can elect a placeholder. And, and count on the entire world to solve the world's problems. Okay, you want a placeholder for a president? Pick anyone. And it's going to be a placeholder. You want someone that's actually going to do something? That's actually going to be aggressive about solving the world's problems? Me. And, and do you want someone that's actually going to think, I don't know anything, even though I understand the complexities of memory, but I don't, I don't even these guys that are that good at computers. Still, I don't feel like they fully understand the complexities of memory. Probably the only people that do are at, at like Microsoft and even Apple. And even then they, they have trouble. The people that design the chips, all I'm saying is some people think it's a bad thing that I'm dyslexic and I don't trust myself at all. And like when I write a paper in college, what do I do? I write a paper the day before and then I edit it with fresh eyes. Rule number one about me. I always edit my work with fresh eyes because when I was in that one mindset, I get, I get fixated on something and I completely miss all these other issues. And so I always would edit my papers twice with fresh eyes because I need to look at things with fresh eyes because I am dyslexic. But because I'm kind of dyslexic, I see the world differently and I'm a great member of a team. So in my opinion, should I be a member of a team instead of being in charge of a team? Probably, but I don't really have that option. And I feel like if my team is good enough, being president isn't like solving a physics problem that's that complex, that requires a massive team of engineers to solve. Being president's like, common sense to me if you have the right team. And so, I mean, that's why I'm going to be so team oriented in, 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 in becoming president. And that's why, like, if I can get Dana Perino, as weird as it sounds, I'm running as a Democrat. And it's like, how in the world are you going to pick someone from Fox news to be your press secretary? Like it's cause I, I, I don't mind having different opinions and I just, I like the way she says things more than anything, but um, I know it's, I'm sure a lot of people don't think they should vote for me because I, because I don't know. I don't know if my router was hacked. I do know that I mixed up WP and WPS, but I do know that I want to disable both of them. And I definitely don't want WP. If there's anything I don't want, it's WP, but I didn't realize WPS is enabled by default. And so a lot of people logging their routers were like, well, WPS is enabled. Maybe I should disable that. Because why wouldn't I? If you can disable something, then disable it. So no matter what, I was right. But then I don't know. I don't know if they got my router. But I always think they got my router because they always get my freaking router. No matter what, they always get my router. Because in my experience, they always, because they're that good. But we need a president that will question. And that's what no one will ever understand that's, that's, uh, well, I don't know. I, I've always been stuck in my ways. You don't understand how the world changes. 10 years ago, the world was a different place. 20 years ago, the world was a different place. 20 years ago, our relationships were completely different. Nowadays, our relationships have changed. And you don't understand that. And until you understand that things change, you'll never understand the importance of not trusting your opinion. Because the person that might end up poisoning your entire city's water supply might be a European that you never saw coming. 